Hey guys, so we wanted to, we actually just got finished at recording some episodes of More Than Reality Podcast. And we wanted to let you know that the trailer for More Than Reality Podcast is live right now on all pa- podcast podcast platforms <laughs> and also on YouTube. So you can go check it out and we'll put a link to YouTube right here, but you can actually go to More Than Reality Podcast on any platform and see the trailer and listen to the trailer too. See or listen and all the episodes will be getting loaded on there so you can you can go and like and subscribe and yes. stay up to date on everything new and More Than Reality. And so see you there. And then um, we actually all were planning to go to, so I have like like two of these vacuums going on. I got one over here and then one over here. I honestly forgot I had both of those and I, so I charged them. Hold up a minute, you're loud. I charged them, I'm like, what? I'm gonna put these on. Like, why don't I use these daily like I used to? Um, but Adam took the quince to a Texans uh, training camp day or something like that. And we actually all were supposed to go as a family. But when my phone crashed and died for a couple weeks, I lost a lot of things and my calendar has been totally messed up. So I have double book, triple book things that are now coming all in effect where <laughs> it's like, where things are just like overpiling and I'm like, oh my God, I can't do that today. I have this today. And so we kind of divide and conquer. Adam took the quince to the Texans uh, training camp day and Blake actually has um, a mom daughter dinner tonight with um, some of her eighth grade, eighth grade uh, friends that we do this before school starts. So I threw on some basically PJs, but comfy clothes and doing a little picking up and more of Ta-da! Laundry. <laughs> so I uh, have a friend who got this new washer and dryer, and it is a washing machine and dryer all in one. So I want to know if you have one of those, if you've heard of it, and how it's working for you. Because if this is something that's legit and works amazing, I want to get two of them. So I need, I need, she says it's been doing great so far, but I need some other insight. Do you have one of these? And if, but if you do have one of these washing machines, I don't know what brand it is. She says she loves it. It's working great. And she's like, you you have to get one of these, but um, actually I want two of them. But if you have one, I want to know if you have it and is it, doing what it's supposed to do and how long have you had it so if you know what i'm talking about if you have one of these washer and dryers and one where you wash it and it dries it like i want you to send me a message and tell me what you think about it um because i'm interested in those so uh also we had a great day at church today there was like 30 over three services like 30 something people got baptized so i love watching baptisms i love hearing testimonies and stories of, of god working and changing people's lives and um it's always emotional and so i remember back to the day when i got baptized as a new believer i mean just two years ago blake got baptized as a believer um and so it was it's just been a good day my spirits are up so thankfully <laughs> So my spirits are definitely upped after uh, church. The message was great. We've been going through the book of Mark, um, and it's been a really great study um, and very, like, impactful as far as message-wise. And today we talked about feeling the pressure and all the things of, like, the pressure in your life. Um, and that is not what God wants for you. Um, so just being intentional and staying mindful of spending time with Him and being with Him first and foremost. Uh, those great message, great uh, service service today but um anyways uh date night last night was so fun i'm not a huge country person and i thought the jordan davis was amazing and i like that he went to lsu he's from louisiana uh luke combs was i mean amazing like you could just i i love going to i love live music just in general i don't care what kind of music is i just love live music but the best part about the concerts Anyway, like the best part about the concerts to me are when you actually get like that, the intimacy of the song and 
why they wrote it. They're talking about the lyrics, what had happened in their life at this time when they wrote this song and just like quality time and real intentional time is like one of my love languages. Um, and so when you we go to like live music and they just tell you about something like about them or they uh, share this song and what it means to them. It's not just that you're hearing a song like reflected on maybe it, it hits you to your heart or like you feel it, but like you really hear the heart behind it. And I just, I freaking love that. I loved, loved, loved just hearing him be real and sharing, you know, his music and the songs and like what they are and when they wrote them and whatever. But um, lots of great music last night. So it was fun to have a little break and have a date night. And I think that's why we all need to make sure that we're stepping away and having our like little alone time. We all just need to make sure that we are having our intentional quality times with our spouse. Um, it's been very challenging this summer for Adam and I to do that. And it's it's not that any the relationship is bad or anything, but you just, when you don't get your one-on-one -on -one, like spouse time, it's just different. And so things just start to pile in and get in the way. And it's one of those things that we've always kind of preached ourselves was date your spouse. And we do, and we are regularly on the, the weekly dating, but this summer has been so divide and conquer and split, or it's just been family, 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 which has been enjoyable and great, but we've just been exhausted. We like just haven't had that one-on-one -on -one time together. And um, I think all, I just think in general for all marriages as just some encouragement to all you is that like uh, pursue your spouse, like continue to work on it even when you, you don't want to, even when you, things are fine and you don't feel like you need quality time together, you still need quality time together um, because there's kids, there's distraction, there's work, there's so many things that come in between and you don't want to lose sight of where it all began and it started with the two of you and so but if you think about it, honestly, like um, our children, like our children, we're constantly repeating ourselves. We're constantly reminding them. We're constantly telling them the same things we do every single day. You gotta brush your teeth. You gotta, you know, make your bed or you gotta put your shoes on. And did you brush your teeth? Did you brush your teeth? You know, like these things that we repeat because why? Because they're children and we're human and we forget. So even when your relationship with your spouse is good, you still need to be reminded and have time together that like, yes, because we do forget sometimes these certain laughs, sometimes these silly things that might annoy us, but remind us of back when we were dating or like, we just forget. So stay on top of your relationship with your spouse and your marriage and it'll make, you, it'll make your household uh, better. So if you put your spouse first, the house will be great afterwards. So just, some Sunday encouragement for you guys and uh, Bo's about to start barking because there's a bunny.